人在屋，身不由己。You belong to the society, and not up to you. It's all about our neighborhood. It's all about our society. You follow the rule, and that's what they are. Wow, this is our school here. Our here in the in the early eighty. Until now, we're still running different class in here. Tawa, Hong Fu School, Big Yap High. One of the old old master in the I think in the forty. Very unique. Actually, the teaching right in front of, inside his little studio pop, smaller room. That's what they are. One bed, one little table. My children come in one by one and run until you have so many people. And then you have to rent a little room, bigger room to do what in the all that. So in the beginning, they're all one on one by himself teaching in the room. Basically what you see in Wing Chun these days is, I wouldn't say that it's not Wing Chun, of course it's Wing Chun. So, of course. I never wanted to teach. I only, I only wanted to learn how to fight better. Here, of course, of course, of course, okay, of course, of course. He says, why shouldn't you teach? When you teach, you learn twice. Learning to teach is a lot different than learning just Wing Chun because it was to be able to spot mistakes. And Sifu Lee would come out of his office, call me over, and say, Come here, Peter. Come here. Stand here. Come here. What's that guy doing wrong? I would say something like, His tonso is a good. No, look at his horse. He would pick out every single mistake of every single student that was there, and he wanted me to see it. Like you never finish learning. You're always learning, no matter how old you are. When it comes to like martial arts, and people get stuck, and you can never get stuck. You have to, you have to keep growing. And you have to keep imagining things and creating. And that's what makes us all martial artists is that we're there to create. You know, you can't play someone else's song forever. After a while, you have to be able to create your own music, write your own things. Sing your own songs. Uh, we play this video game uh, back in the 90s. It's called Virtual Fighter. So the main character does body training. If we're not sparring, then virtual teaching makes, makes the most sense. I set a two-year program, online teaching. This is the program where it's going to set up a solid foundation for mechanics for strength training. Beyond that to your point, uh, in person becomes very important. You have to feel the weight, feel the power, feel the transition uh, with the partner. And then the progression from the students, uh, that was the most rewarding part and also validates the method that I learned from my Sufu, that these are sustainable methods and that fits with today's age. <laughs> That's right, yes. Four presents. I hope you like your plate.